Almighty, for you are good and you are merciful. So even now, Lord, take charge. Even now, Lord, take over. Even now, Lord, take control. As we consecrate this place and consecrate ourselves to you. In the name of Jesus. Take charge now, God, as we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Somebody worship God with me. Hallelujah. Somebody magnify the name of the Lord with me, man. Oh God, I hope that you did not leave your prayers at your yard. Oh God, because you can't come on the battlefield and leave your prayers somewhere else. Oh, somebody worship God with me. We are here on the battlefield for the Lord. Oh God, so you must have a worship. You must have a prayers. You must have a hallelujah. And you must be ready to shout. Ah, oh, God Almighty, in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are about to begin. My name is Reverend Nelson, and I will be your moderator for this evening. At this time, I'm going to be inviting the praise and worship team from the Lilliput New Testament Church to come at this time and carry us through this time of praise and worship. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Everybody, come on, lift those hands and just worship the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, worship God. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Somebody lift up the name of the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. And we want to declare that we are together again just praising the Lord so we're asking you to stand with us put your hands together and your hearts as we sing unto the Lord in the beauty of holiness come on just put those hands together we are together again just praising the Lord we are together Somebody's gonna break free Somebody's gonna get a miracle And I know it's gonna be me Say somebody's gonna be blessed Somebody's gonna break free Somebody's gonna get a miracle And I know it's gonna be me Somebody's gonna be Somebody's gonna be blessed Somebody's gonna break Somebody's gonna break free Somebody's gonna Somebody's gonna get a miracle Look at your name and say you are gonna be blessed. You are gonna be blessed. You are gonna break free. You are gonna break. Free. You are gonna. You are gonna get a miracle. Oh yes, it's gonna be you. One more time. Somebody's gonna be blessed. Somebody's gonna break free. Somebody's gonna get a miracle, and I know it's gonna be me. Lay your hands on me, Jesus. Lay your hands on me, Jesus. Lay your hands on me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Say, lay your hands on me, Jesus. 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 L
hands on me, Jesus. I don't mind. Lay your hands on me, Jesus. I don't mind. Lay your hands on me, Jesus. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. Lay your hands, lay your hands, lay your hands on me, Jesus. I don't mind. Lay your hands on me, Jesus. I don't mind. Lay your hands on me, Jesus. I don't mind. On me, Jesus. I don't mind. Lay your hands on me, Jesus. I don't mind. Lay your hands on me, Jesus. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. So tell me who made the angels sing and tell me who made the joy bells ring and tell me who is the King of Kings. Nobody but tell me who. Tell me who. Tell me who made the angels sing and tell me who. Tell me who is the king of lift those hands, nobody but my Lord. Oh, yes, he made the world, he made the sea and land. Fashion them together with his mighty hand. All under his control and all at his command. Nobody but my Lord. Tell me who made the angels. Tell me who made the Tell me who is the king of kings. Nobody but my Lord Tell me who is the King of Kings Nobody but my Lord Come on somebody lift the King of Kings high this evening Hallelujah Somebody lift the Lord high in hour tonight Hallelujah Somebody on social media Lift the Lord high tonight for Lord is worthy and he's worthy to be praised hallelujah glory to the name of Jesus tonight we want to declare that he's worthy he's worthy of it all is there a witness in the house come on lift those hands and say Lord you're worthy of my worship you're worthy of my praise hallelujah the very breath that I take Lord is an act of worship it belongs to you, Lord. Ooh, come on, somebody just worship the Lord. Don't even wait for a song. Don't wait for the music. You know what the Lord has done for you. Just give him that praise, that unconditional praise. Hallelujah. Let it be like a wellspring of living water springing up from within you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We just honor you, Lord. And we say that you're worthy, mighty God. You're worthy of our worship. You're worthy of our adoration, Almighty God. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Some of us have been through so much, Almighty God. For the fact that you love us, we're here tonight to bow in your presence, Almighty God. For you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. Hallelujah. All the saints and gems. They bow before your throne, hallelujah. All the elders cast their crowns before the Lamb of God and sing. Everybody sing. All the saints and
glory. Come on, somebody just take some time and lift up the Lord right there. Just lift those hands. Thank the Lord for today. You are here safe and sound. Accident could have taken you out today. Hallelujah. So many arrows that came by noonday. So many destruction waited for you. But the Lord has preserved you. And he deserves the glory. Anybody want to lift him up tonight? Come on, lift those hands. I will exalt you. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord Jesus. I will exalt you. <laughs> you are my God. You are my God. I will exalt you, Lord. I will exalt you. going tonight saints of God hallelujah 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 shall we worship the Lord Can we magnify the name of the Lord hallelujah can we exalt the name of Jesus hallelujah 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 at this time, I'm going to be inviting Bishop James Lewis to come as he will do our opening prayer. Hallelujah. Those of you who are sitting, could you please stand at this time? We are in the presence of the Lord. And our God is worthy to be praised. Somebody lift up your hands and praise him right now. Come on, lift up your hands and shout another hallelujah. Glory be to the wonderful name of Jesus. God is among us tonight. And we know that because he's here, great things will happen. Could you bow your heads at this time? As I pray. Oh God, and our everlasting Father, thou art worthy. 
you are the same yesterday today and forever we recognize you as the king of kings and the lord of lord the conquering lion of the tribe of judah we come before your presence one more time we come believing god that nothing is impossible for you to do and whatever we ask of you lord you will grant it unto us and we come in no other name but the name of jesus i pray god in no other name but the name of jesus i pray god that you will continue lord to bless us in a special way you have been with us god from the fifth of this month you were with us last night you are with us today and god we are confident that you are with us right now and as we come before you we pray dear god that you will give guidance tonight in a special way i commend oh god the moderator into your hands i pray dear god when he shall be led by you the praise team the choir and every item oh god that shall be on the program tonight i commend them before you I pray in the name of Jesus you will surround this community. Whatever God needs to be done, I pray God you will do it. Hallelujah. If there is a wall to be broken down, oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus as we march around that wall tonight. And as we praise you, God, the walls of Jericho will fall down. Hallelujah. If there is a Jordan for us to cross, God, then the priests are here. And every child of God belongs to the priesthood. And so God, as we step, oh God, on the brink of Jordan right now, we pray, dear God, when Jordan will be divided, hallelujah, and your children shall go through. Hallelujah. If there is a Red Sea, oh God, to cross in this community, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As we stretch forth our hands, oh God, as you told Moses, to stretch forth the rod, oh God, across the Red Sea. And the Red Sea divided and the children of Israel cross over on dry land. If there's a rock that we have to strike tonight, God, we strike it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And that water, God, will, will come forth tonight in a special way. Heal the sick, God. Raise the dead. Open the eyes of the blind. Curfew this place right now. I put the security forces in charge. I pray for a special blessings upon your lives right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I commend, oh God, it converts to you. And every person, God, who is listening to us right now online, I commend them to you, God, those who are watching us, Lord. That young man, that young lady who is suffering right now, I release your healing power over them right now. And I decree and declare victory in the name of Jesus because it's not by might nor by power but by my spirit say the Lord those who are suffering from infirmity right now the spirit of infirmity I command them in the name of Jesus Christ to rise in Jesus name in the name of Jesus those who are bent over straighten up yourself now by the power of the almighty God I decree and declare victory and no weapon that form against us tonight shall prosper and every tongue that rise up against us in judgment shall be confounded victory in the name of Jesus victory in the name of the Father victory in the name of the Son victory in the name of the Holy Ghost let the people of God shout hallelujah oh hallelujah hallelujah yeah. hallelujah 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 Glory, glory, glory. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We magnify the name of the Lord. At this time, we're going to be inviting Brother Desmond Cooper to come at this time with our scripture reading. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. A pleasant good evening to you all. If you have your Bibles with you, could you please turn to Psalms 
107. And I will be reading from chapter 1 to chapter 31. Here begins chapter 1. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for his good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeem of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hands of the enemy, and gather them out of the lands from the east, and from the west, and from the north, and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul faint in them. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. And he lead them forth by the right way, that they may go to a city of habitation. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful work to the children of men. For he satisfied the longing soul. And lifted the hungry, the hungry soul with goodness, such as sitting in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron, because they rebel against the word of God, and condemn the counsel of the Most High. Therefore he brought down their heart in labor. They fell down, and there was none to help. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distress. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and break their chains in so under. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he had broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron and so on. Fools because of their transgression and because of their iniquity are afflicted. Their souls abhor at all manner of meat and they draw near unto the gates of death. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble and he saved them out of their distresses. He sent his word. And heal them and deliver them from their destruction. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. And let them sacrifice the sacrifice of thanksgiving and declare his work with rejoicing. They that sat down to this, they that go down to the sea in ships that do business in great water. Do you see the work of the Lord and his wonder in the deep? For he commanded and riseth the stormy wind, which lift up the wave thereof. They mount up to the heavens, they go down again to the deep. Their soul is melt because of trouble. They wheel to and from and staggered like a drunkard man and are at their wit ends. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble and he bring them out of their distresses. He made the storm to calm so that the wave thereof are still. Then they be quiet because they, then they be glad because they be quiet. So he bring them out of their desire hidden. Oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let us praise the God. The Lord. This is the reading of the word of God. We honor it by saying praise be to God. Somebody worship God. Somebody worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Brother Cooper. That's how we must read the Bible. Yes, man. Enjoy it. Hallelujah. I appreciate it so much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah! Ah, oh God, some come on, man, come on, man. Somebody worship God with me. Ah, oh God, I tell you now, make sure you did not leave your prayers at home because we're going to worship God tonight. We're going to praise God tonight. Amen? We're going to magnify the name of the Lord tonight. It is good to see you all. We are going to be inviting Bishop Robert Williams to come, the vice chair of the regional evangelistic board as you'll be coming to make us all welcome put your hands together and make him welcome at this time 
Hallelujah. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Everybody ought to know. I'm pressing. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. He's the lily of the valley. Oh, he's the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of the thousand. Everybody ought to know Everybody ought to know Who Jesus is Everybody ought to know Everybody ought to know Everybody ought to know Who Jesus is He's the lily of the valley Yes, he's the bright and morning star. Hallelujah. He's the fairest of the thousand. Everybody ought to know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say where, say where you are. Hope you understand, John. Do you believe everybody ought to know? And you are here tonight to let everybody know. Then you're gonna, I'm going to invite you to stand and help me sing it two more times and lift your voices. Hallelujah. And sing with all conviction. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know Everybody ought to know Who Jesus is For he's the lily of the valley Yeah, he's the bright and morning star Hallelujah He's the spirit of the Oh, glory. Yeah. 
Nobody ought to know Who Jesus is Shout hallelujah. Hey, shout another hallelujah in the house. Somebody call the name of Jesus around here. Somebody call Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Ah, give him praise and worship in the house here. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. The gunman needs to know. Hallelujah. The young boys need to know. The young girls need to know. Hallelujah. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. And when they know who Jesus is, their lives are going to be different. Norwood would be different. Jamaica will be different. Hallelujah. The world will be different. Somebody praise God in the house here. Lift your hands again and shout a hallelujah. Lift the church of God. Hallelujah. A Holy Ghost Pentecostal. Hallelujah. Let the church shout hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Before I, 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 I move quickly into what I'm here to do, you know, I took note today that the, the, the Prime Minister has declared state of emergency for St. James. And so the security forces have to do what they have to do, but the church, hallelujah, you're you quiet on me, man. I said, the church is here in Norwood to do what only the church can do. Hello, church. Hello, church. Uh, God, I want a wake up set of people to worship with me tonight. I want an alive church to worship with me tonight. I want a militant church to worship with me tonight. Somebody shout the name of Jesus. Somebody shout the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We state of emergency in our community. The church is here to declare that Jesus is the answer. Hello, church. Jesus is the answer. If you believe that with me tonight, I soon welcome you. I want you to lift your hands. And with all the conviction you know, I want you to declare it unapologetically tonight. Clench your fists and raise your hands and shout at me. Three times we're going to shout, Jesus is the answer. After three, one, two, three. Jesus is the answer. Let's say it again. Jesus is the answer. Declare another time. Jesus is the answer. Give him a cup of coffee now. Hallelujah. 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 We are here on business tonight, church. And we are militant in our spirit. We are radical and militant. We are standing in the name of Jesus. We watch no face. We watch no foe. We only focus on Jesus. Amen, church. Amen, church. And once we focus on Jesus, everything will be all right. Amen, church. All right, welcome you all tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. It's so good to be another night under this big white gospel tent in Norwood. Welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We welcome the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost is in our midst tonight. Put your hands above our heads and welcome them tonight. And you know, hold on, hold on. I want to move on quickly. You know already, when you, you, you don't think only welcome him with your hands, I must tell him something. Put your hands above your heads and welcome the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yes, man. Tell him something while you cheer him. 
Yes, hallelujah. 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 Oh, praise God. I feel the presence of God in this place. Hallelujah. And when you wave your hands and you shout hallelujah, we weaken the enemy's kingdom. Amen, church. Hallelujah. Another stone falls out. Another brick falls out. Another column comes down in the name of Jesus. So good to have each and every one of you tonight. I want to welcome, of course, our uh, online worshipers tonight. The Lord richly bless you. So good having each and every one of you online tonight. And we pray that the presence of God will be with you where you are. That you will experience deliverance and victory. God bless you. And even before we get to the, um, to the offering, I want to say on behalf of the director and all of, and the board members, thanks to those of you online who are um, giving us your financial support. God richly, richly bless you. You know, I, I, I receive envelopes from, from two persons. I won't tell you where from. Um, but, but, but send for the crusade and I say to God be the glory and we continue to pray for our online viewers amen our online worshippers put your hands together now let our online worshippers know we're happy to have them yeah cheer them loud enough to, for, for them to hear hallelujah hallelujah God richly bless you I want to welcome um, I don't know don't know if he's on the ground as yet but we know he will be here our director Bishop Ruel Robinson put your hands together for him and sister Robinson hallelujah hallelujah our guest preacher is in the house tonight the bishop Sherrod Somerville please stand Reverend Somerville put your hands together for Reverend Somerville the young man of God who loves the Lord amen amen and we shall be hearing from him later bless the Lord I want to welcome also the other ministers in the house hallelujah I know that Reverend Barrett is here and I want to thank God for Reverend Barrett you know I, I I, I think his name is Alfonso. Am I right? I don't want to spoil his name. I'm going to ask Reverend Alfonso Barrett to stand. Let's welcome him. He's, he, he's here just what every night. Put your hands together for him. He passed as the anchovy church. Uh, God bless you, Rev. So good to see you tonight again. God bless you. Reverend Lewis is in the house. He prayed earlier on. Please stand again, Reverend Lewis. He's a member of the, of the um, evangelism board. And he passed as the Glendevon church. Chair Reverend Lu Lewis if you're chairing him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I don't know if there's any other minister apart from um, our, our, our moderator. Any other minister, minister in the house? Oh, Sister Somerville is in the house. The guest speaker's um, wife and daughter. I'm going to ask them to stand. Praise the Lord. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The Lord bless you, the Lord bless you. And then we're happy to have, our, I should have called him earlier on, our able moderator this evening, the uh, Bishop Howard Nelson. Am I saying it right? Right, Bishop Howard Nelson. Put your hands together for him. Let him know we're happy to have him. Amen. And all the ministers on the Montegabi district and wherever else you're from, the Reverend Marsha Daniels Powell is in the house. I'm going to ask Reverend Powell. Marsha Daniels Powell to stand. Put your hands together for her. Hallelujah. We shall be hearing from her in a little while. Praise God. Praise God. The Montego Bay Youth Choir, are they here yet? Okay, they are coming because they'll, they'll be ministering to us tonight. But the Glendavon New Testament Church of God Choir is in the house. Please stand Glendavon Choir. Chair them again, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. And Lily put is in the house too. The Lily put praise team and, and, and musicians and brethren. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you all very much. Um, how can we leave without saying a big welcome to our community members? Amen. Members from the community of Norwood. God bless you. You allow us to feel comfortable. You have welcomed us. Hallelujah. And we thank you. So it brings in the house too. Amen. And we give the Lord thanks. Um, and of course, I have to mention Mr. and Mrs. Fagan. We cannot mention them too many times. Put the hands again together for Mr. and Mrs. Fagan, who have allowed us to be on this spot of ground. 
share them again, church. And I want to say thanks to, to the Citizens Association for really accommodating us. I want to say thanks to just about everyone, the security forces. Put your hands together for all the security forces. I talk to the police and the soldiers who are ensuring that we are okay. Amen. They drive, no, I know they drive past and they look over to ensure that we are okay. And we were promised that they will see to, see to it that we are okay. Put your hands again together for them. And of course, as I come to the, come to the end of welcome, you know, our VIPs. Hello, church. Last but by no means least, our VIPs. And we know who, who are our VIPs, amen? Yes, I'm going to be asking those who got, who got saved since crusade began uh, two Sunday nights ago. If you are here, just stand. Hallelujah. Stand, stand. If you got saved, even if you're not baptized, that's right, that's right. Somebody praise the Lord for them. Praise the Lord for them. Hallelujah. Church shout hallelujah. Church shout hallelujah. Somebody give God a praise again in the house here. Yes, man, everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Amen. God bless you, ministers. God bless you all. God bless you. God bless you. And our unsafe friends. So nice having you too because you are the reason why we are here. We are here because of you. We thank you for gracing our presence with yours. Knowing we are telling you that Jesus is here for you tonight. Whatever your situation is, he can work it out for you. He is indeed the answer. The only answer to all of your situations and your problems. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else will be added to you. God bless you. My brothers and sisters, one and all, let us magnify the name of God tonight. Amen, church. Amen, church. Amen, church. And may God bless you as we continue to worship in Jesus' name. Moderator. Hallelujah. 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 Indeed, we give God thanks. I trust that you are welcome. And just as uh, Bishop Williams was giving the welcome, I saw a few other ministers stepping in under the tent. I know Reverend Prendigas from the Cornwall Church, Cornwall Courts Church is here, but we also saw Bishop Mark McLean from the Bamboo New Testament Church in St. Anne. Put your hands together for him. We also see Reverend Corey Morris as well from the Hermitage New Testament Church in St. Anne coming in. Put your hands together for them. Bishop McLean, I will ask you later on to give a little greeting. So, so I'll let you know before we, we go on. Amen? Amen. So, brothers and sisters, we were here today for fasting. Ah, oh God, for those who are in fasting today, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Ah, glory. It sounds good. And we began today because we understand that Nawood must know that there is a God in Nawood. Amen? There is a God in Nawood, and we're going to declare that every Goliath will come for your head. We, you not know, live, you not know, stand, but every Goliath, ah, oh, God Almighty, standing in Nawood, we come for your head. You not know, stand, ah, oh, God Almighty, no care what stronghold you have. No care what talk you have, no care how much badness you think you have behind you. We are declaring the name of Jesus. Ah, oh God, every Goliath, we come for your head. Lord oh God, you can't stand, you can't stand. Hallelujah. We had a wonderful time today in fasting. Amen. Amen. I'm just going to be asking just two persons to give me two testimonies. Ah, I wonder if I can get a testimony from Glenn Devon church just jump up quick man with a quick testimony i wonder if i can get that testimony from lilliput lilliput better have a testimony in the name of jesus oh god no they, they, them can't go back home oh god almighty so so i want glenn devon jump up i'm going to invite the praise team to come because as we are going to be singing we'll be moving right after into our theme song god delivers again but i want a testimony from glenn devon somebody from glenn devon jump up with a good testimony oh god in the name of jesus come come on man come on man we must have a testimony 
in the house. Glenn Devon, come, come on, jump up, jump up. Little Mike. Hallelujah. Lilliput. Somebody jump up. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, somebody worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. At this time, I'm going to be inviting everybody, please, to stand as we will be singing our theme song, God Delivers Again. Stand everywhere, everybody. We are going to be joining our hearts and our minds together, and we're going to be worshiping God even as we sing this song. Come on, everybody, everybody, stand, stand. Once you are able to stand, stand in the house as we worship God together. Oh, standing there at the red See God's people began to complain Soon Pharaoh and his mighty army They're gonna take us in bondage again Oh, but stand still and see the salvation of the Lord Moses Christ Then God He parted the waters And they crossed to the other side Oh my God Delivers again Oh my God Delivers again Reaches down his hands. That's when all the forces of evil had to flee at his command. Oh, now just when things look hopeless, my God delivers again. We'll never bow to your idols the hebrew children proclaim and so the king he gave the command just throw them into the flame but the king he said did we not cast three men into the furnace bound but I can see four men They're loose in the fire They're unhurt and they're walking around 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God delivers again. Ah, oh God, it doesn't matter where you are. You might find yourself in the fire. He delivers. You might find yourself in the lion's den. He delivers. You might find yourself uh, at the gates of hell. Uh, he still delivers. It doesn't matter who you are uh, or where you are. The God that we serve is a God that delivers. And he can and will deliver you. Brothers and sisters, we're going to ask you to put your hands together and make welcome the Reverend Marsha Daniels Powell as she will be coming to minister unto us. Put your hands together. Come on, man. Come on. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Indeed, our God is worthy uh, to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me hear you bless the Lord. Bless him another time. All protocols observe. Special greetings to all the ministers. Tonight I just want to tell you that whatever you're going through, Jesus has your masterpiece. I know many might be struggling with who they are, with your gender, with your identity. But if that is the case, you need a visit from Jesus. Amen. He has your masterpiece. The thief was down to his last breath, hanging there on Calvary. When he turned to the master, saying, have mercy on me. He was just a broken vessel till Jesus washed his sins all away. For there's not one broken vessel that God can't mend. Can I sing a verse again? Oh, the thief was down to his last breath, hanging there on Calvary. When he turned to the master saying have mercy on me he was just a 
broken vessel Till Jesus washed his sins all away For there's not one broken vessel that God can't mend One broken vessel that God can't mend. Oh, and when the whole world turn their backs on you, He will be your friend. But he That God can't mend. Oh, Jesus, He's the potter. Oh, you and I are just a lump of clay. And even when our vessels got broken, God never throw the clay away. Oh, but he'll pick up your pieces and he'll do it times and times and times again for this. God can't mend. If you believe it, sing with me right now. Oh, there's not one broken vessel that God can't mend. Oh, and when the whole world is turned their backs on you, I times again for there's not one broken vessel that God can't mend oh my brother Jesus he is the potter oh and you and I are just a lump of clay and even when our vessels got broken God never throw never throw the clay away oh but what he did I said he'll, he'll pick up your pieces and he'll do times and the times and times again for there's not not one broken vessel that my God can't mend somebody sing with me tonight oh there's not one broken vessel that God can't mend And when the whole world turn their backs on you, I know he will be your friend. Oh, my sister, don't worry. He'll, he'll pick up your pieces and he'll do it times and at times and times again. God can't mend. I want to talk to you one more time. There's not one broken vessel.
answer that God can't amend. Oh, and when the whole world turns their backs on you, I know he will be your friend. We have a message of hope tonight. I know he'll pick up your pieces. He'll do it times and times again. For there's not, not one broken vessel that God can't mend. If you're struggling tonight, I said he'll, he'll pick up your pieces. No matter what's going on, he'll pick up your pieces. Wherever you're buried tonight, he'll pick up your pieces. Wherever the plants you right now, he'll pick up your pieces. Wherever your part, he'll pick up your pieces. And he'll do it times and at times again. For For there's not. I used to be part. They had parked me and left me for dead. But thanks be to God that He'll become your pieces. He picked up mine. And I'm here to tell you, he'll do it times and at times again. For there's not one broken vessel that God can't make. Give him glory. Somebody give him glory. If you know you've been broken, but you've been broken to be blessed, give the Lord a praise tonight. Give a broken man some hope. Give a broken woman some hope. Let them know tonight that he specializes in the broken, in the ripped up, and in the messed up. But he'll pick up your pieces. Times and times again For there's not one broken vessel That my God can't make Hallelujah! 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 Worship, worship, worship! The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. There's not one broken vessel. Ah, oh God, do we have some broken vessels in here whom God have mended? Hallelujah! And He continues to mend. Ah, oh God, we are not yet whole. Hallelujah! But He picks us up. Time and time and time, Lord God Almighty, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We give God thanks. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, our God is good. As Rev had already spoken, that there is a state of emergency in St. James. But there is a state of emergency in Norwood. God, there's a spiritual state of emergency. Lord God Almighty. Ah, oh, God, we, 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 we are 
we are chanting up and we are heading into the enemy's kingdom and we are take back some things we are take back now would we are take back a young man we are take back a young lady we are take back a woman a man we are take back a child we're taking back in the name of jesus hallelujah we give god thanks tonight we have also in our midst bishop leslie pinnock from the Escarpment Road District of Churches in Kingston. He is the liaison on the National Executive Board for the Evangelism Ministry. Uh, we give God thanks that he is here with us. At this time, I'm going to be inviting. Put your hands together. Well, you're going to put your hands together better for him a little later when he comes. Amen? But at this time, I'm going to be inviting Bishop McLean to come and greet us. Right after him, I'm going to be inviting Reverend Corey Morris, my brother and friend, to come and greet us. And as soon as Reverend Corey Morris is through, ah, oh God, we are going to give Bishop Pinnock the mic to greet us tonight. And you're going to put your hands together better for him. Amen? Amen. So put your hands together and make welcome Bishop McLean at this time as he comes. Ah, oh God. So two, two McLeans coming. Amen. And uh, one, one minute, Bishop. Just greet us in a minute. Greet us in a minute. Amen. Amen. Can the church praise the Lord? Come on. Somebody lift your hands and praise the Lord. Amen. It is good to be here tonight to fellowship and to worship with you all. My brothers and sisters, I remember the days when Bishop W.A. Blair used to carry the same tent all across the island. And as a youngster, I would make sure wherever we have the tent, I would be present. And so when I heard of the tent here, I decided that I wanted to come. But the state youth director for New Jersey, he flew down and decided that he wanted to be at the tent because he had been watching it online. And so for that reason, I make sure that I'm here tonight to make sure that Reverend Kayvon Wild, the state youth director, can you stand for New Jersey? He came down just to be here at the tent because he had been watching the services from it started. My brothers and sisters, fellow minister of the gospel, I greet you well in Jesus' name. Shall we praise the Lord? Hallelujah. All protocols being observed. I want to greet the community of Norwood. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As I was sitting to your left, I remember a few years ago, the wise men of this world said that gatherings like this would never happen again. And that there was going to be a new normal. And that we'd always have to just gather virtually. But I believe God had to prove that these men don't know anything. Because I know God knows that there are some people in Norwood who needs to hear that Jesus saves, he keeps, and he's satisfied. And I believe that we are here tonight not just in numbers, but I believe the spirit of the living God is hovering over this community to bring about transformation, to bring about healing and deliverance. But I want to ask you to do one thing. I realize that because we were away for the two years, we get used to watching it on our phone, so we sit down. So the church not used to stand up like first time. The church used to sit down with the phone in our hands, and we have become almost like we've become programmed to sit down. But I'm going to ask you that tonight, if you have the ability, stand up on your feet while the preacher is preaching and get militant and war for this community because I believe God has something special in store for this community and I believe that hell cannot keep up its operation I hear somebody say they are coming to take back the community we're not taking back because it already belongs to Jesus for the Bible says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof and I believe God is going to do something great tonight God bless you have a wonderful night in care of the Holy Ghost Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, what a wonder you are. You are brighter than the morning. Oh, you are fairer, more fairer than the lily that goes by the way. 
You are precious, more precious than one more time, sing sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, what a wonder you are. You are brighter than the morning, the morning star. You are fairer, much fairer than the lily that grows by the way. You are precious, more precious than gold. Sing it one more time like a minute. Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, what a wonder you are. You are brighter than the morning. Jesus Christ never fails me yeah. Everywhere, everywhere I go I want the world to know Jesus Christ never fails me yeah. Hallelujah I could say Daniel's God surely will deliver Hallelujah but I want to greet you tonight in the name of Jesus. Somebody, would you raise your hands and give God a praise in this place? Our God is worthy to be worshipped and worthy to be praised. That's why we declare that we can recommend our God to any man. For when we are sick, Jesus heal us. Not true. And when we are sad, he makes us glad. And that is why we love him so. Hallelujah. What a tremendous opportunity it is for us to gather together one more night under the big gospel tent here in Norwood, St. James. I want to greet all of you who are gathered here in person. And I want to greet the scores of those who are online. It is good to have you in this place. I want to greet my colleagues, my ministering colleagues right across the tent and those who are online and those who are on the platform. I want to greet the night's moderator and particularly our night's speaker, Bishop Somerville, but in particular, uh, Bishop Ruel Robinson. Would you give God a praise? for God's wonderful servants of the Lord. Tonight, uh, we've come again to preach uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ. We've come to preach the, that the kingdom of God is here among us. In St. Matthew chapter 13, the Bible tells us a story about uh, the pearl of great price. He says the kingdom is like a great pearl where a man finds it and when he finds it he hides it he goes away he sells everything he has he comes back and he purchases this treasure i want to declare to norwood saint james tonight that there is a treasure underneath this tent tonight that is worth more than everything that you have own is will be his name is jesus christ the son of the living god he can be your bridge over troubled waters he can be your way maker your miracle worker your problem solver your promise keeper anything that you want him to be tonight jesus can be that one for you tonight as the message of the kingdom is preached tonight we declare that deliverance will take place we declare that men will discover this pearl of great price and that men will give up everything they own and say all to jesus i surrender all to him i freely give 
I will ever love and trust him in his presence daily live it's good to be with you another night I bring you greetings from the National Evangelism Ministry and all the other liaisons who wanted to be here tonight but unfortunately are not we declare that the kingdom of God is here and that we continue to pray God's strength and will God bless you as you continue to worship and win souls for the kingdom hallelujah 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 we give God thanks for his servants and for all those who are here with us at this time and it is indeed a privilege that we could be graced with the presence of the state youth director of New Jersey it is good to have you in our midst sir hallelujah put your hands together again hallelujah and give him a warm welcome yes yes we give God thanks indeed God is good amen brothers and sisters we are still on the battlefield ah God Almighty I wonder if we know that song I'm on the battlefield for my Lord ah God Almighty ah Jesus I am on the battlefield for my Lord I will fight till I die I'll never ah God ah God ah praise team praise team come come ahead me sing that song up brothers and sisters we must recognize that we're on the back of field man we sit down too much now stand up man ah god almighty we need to chant down ah god we i want to join up with our ministers as we declare that we shall win we have already won therefore we must walk in it hallelujah 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 right after we sing that song ah god i'm going to be handing over to 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 Bishop Williams, as he will be coming to do the offering and also to introduce the speaker. Then the choir from Glen Devon will sing. And then we, Almighty God, church, brethren, we will join the ministry of the word. I said join means that we will preach with the preacher. We will shout a hallelujah. We will pray for him because we are on the battlefield for our God. Hallelujah. Sing that song for me. I'm on the battlefield. For my Lord, I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I will fight till I die. I'll never run away. I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Oh, I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I'm on Somebody shout another hallelujah. Somebody call the name of Jesus in the house here. Call him like you know who you're calling. Call his name another time in the house here. Oh, put your hands above your heads and cheer him again. And you know you don't only cheer him with your hands, but tell him something with your mouth. Hallelujah. Tell him something as you cheer him. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to God be the glory. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We are on the battlefield. Amen, church. Touch your neighbor. Say, hey, neighbor. We are on the battlefield. Oh, my God. I want, can I have some militant people in the house here tonight? Do I have some militant people in the house here tonight? Do I have some militant people in the house here tonight? Lift your hands again and shout the name of Jesus. Let the church shout the name of Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. It's good to have you all tonight. And uh, you know, um, 
I want to say it's good to have all of you ministers uh, with us tonight, Reverend Pendergrass, um, Reverend Dixon, Mark McLean, Richard Black, James Lewis, Marsha Daniels Powell, uh, Kevin Wills, uh, we, we, we have Corey Morris, Leslie, <laughs> praise the Lord. Yes, we've mentioned him already, Bishop Pinnock. Uh, don't, don't mind if I don't say Reverend, right? Uh, Dermin Rose, Alfonso Barrett, student pastor, save right. Amen. Happy to have you all tonight. Put your hands up all the ministers in the house tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. We have out of the USA the, 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 the youth director from New Jersey, state youth director, and uh, we can't allow him to travel all this way, pay his plane, plane fare, go through um, immigration, and the immigration officers were on um, um, go slow today. So he went through all of that to only just come and sit down. You want to hear him greet, greet us. So I'm going to give him 30 seconds to come and say greetings now. Put your hands together for him as he comes and say greetings to us. Cheer him until he reaches here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm a glad pilgrim and I'm on my way going to glory land for Jesus is all my hope and stay. He holds me by the hand. It is such a great joy to be in your midst this evening. I want to greet all the members of the clergy here on the platform and on the lower level. I've been watching the services now for over a week and my heart has been tremendously blessed and I felt it resounding in my spirit just to come and join the fellowship for one evening. I saw five men get baptized the other night and I was like, God is really moving. The spirit of the Lord is moving here in Norwood. And so I greet Bishop Robinson, Lady Robinson, and all the coordinators from this region. God bless you. You're doing a tremendous work. Accept greetings from the administrative bishop, Bishop Dr. Raymond Birch of New Jersey, and all the entire Church of God in the state of New Jersey. God bless you. Bless the Lord. Put your hands again together for him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise God. My brothers and sisters, we've been here from uh, two Sunday nights ago and the presence of God is truly with us. Amen, church. The presence and power of heaven is among us. And Norwood is not going to be the same when we would have pulled down this tent. Amen, church. Norwood is turned around for the better. In Jesus' name. And as was said earlier on, the state of emergency for St. James is on. But thank God we are here in the name of Jesus. So while the security forces do their part, we are going to do our part in Jesus' name. Amen, church. Amen, church. Hallelujah. It's giving time. Thank you, that person. I say it's giving time in the house. It's giving time in the house. Let the church shout hallelujah. It's giving, it's giving time. It's giving time. Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, my brothers and sisters, I want to thank God for the way he has been blessing his people. Already persons are testifying of the blessings of God upon their lives because they have been sowing into this 10th crusade ministry. Somebody praise God in the house here. Somebody praise the Lord in the house here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And so to start us off tonight, I am going to be, um, I'm raising $5,000 right now. Hallelujah. And as we, uh, as we, uh, as I call the ushers, those of our brethren online, the Lord bless you. We ask you to, Follow the directions as you see online. Go to sporopen.com and sow into this ministry, whatever the Lord is telling you. Bishop Robinson, um, on Sunday night, asked for persons online to sow at least $50. And praise God, I have envelopes here, two envelopes of persons out of Florida who have sown their $50. Put your hands together for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
And so those of you online, we are, we are asking you if the Lord speaks to you, yes man, so into this ministry. You will, you will not regret it. You will not regret it. Follow the instructions online and the Lord will bless you. We have envelopes that um, are here, marked crusade, special envelopes. We're asking each of you to ensure you have an envelope to return on Friday night with a very special offering in it. Amen, church. Let me see those who do not yet have an envelope. Lift your hand. If you do not yet have an envelope, you see the ushers are ready. Praise God. Once you lift your hand, the ushers will come to you. Praise God. All right. So I have my... Can I, can, can I have six more $5,000 right now? Praise the Lord. Okay, so that's um, two, three, five. Can we have four more? Praise the Lord. Six. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we have four more? Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. Three more. Somebody worship the Lord, man. And, and keep the praises going, please. Keep the praises going. This is God's business. Amen, church. And the kingdom of God must move on in Jesus' name. And you know what? God is going to take care of everything in your life. Hallelujah. Can I have three more $5,000? Three more quickly. Three more $5,000. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All right. While I'm waiting on those three, if you, you have your $1,000 now, I want um, $21,000 now quickly. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. $21,000 bills. Praise the Lord. And they're coming. Praise God. One. Yes, man. Just, just come in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Somebody worship the Lord in the house here. Somebody worship the Lord in the house here. Somebody give the Lord some praise around here. Somebody give him some praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Lord. All right, the $500 or whatever you have, you come on now and you just worship the Lord and uh, uh, rejoice as you come on down with your offering. As we give the Lord thanks and praise. Take it away, praise Steve. I journey through this land, singing as I go. Pointing souls to Calvary, to the crimson flow. Many arrows pierce my soul, from without within. But my Lord, my 
Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm going to be inviting our uh, Bishop Pinnock to come and ask God's blessings on the offering. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bow before your throne, telling you thanks. God, for the opportunity that you've given to us to give into this fertile soil. We thank you, Lord, for the gifts and the givers. May, O oh God Almighty, these gifts be blessed as they are used, O oh God, to further build the kingdom of God here on earth. We tell you thanks for the givers and for your blessings on them. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you very much. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, we, uh, uh, before I go, go on, I want us to uh, uh, big up tonight Gloria and her crew. The Gloria and her crew, they operate um, on the border of St. Elizabeth and Westmoreland. Anybody know border? Where you get some good fried fish and conch soup and uh, yeah man, border. Praise the Lord. The Gloria and the crew. Put your hands together for Gloria and her crew at Border. Let, let Border hear you again cheering them tonight. And whenever you drive on, ask for Gloria and her crew and make sure you buy bami and fish from them and the conch soup and the, and, and, and the fish, fish tea. Yes, the fish tea and, and all of that. All right, Gloria and crew. The Lord bless you all. The Lord bless you tonight. Thanks for tuning in. And we pronounce the blessings of the Lord upon you tonight. Amen, church. Amen, church. We have in the house tonight our, 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 our director. Um, he's resting. He's tired. He was here today. And um, he'll be tomorrow again going in the day and come back to tomorrow night. And so he's taking it easy tonight. But I'm still going to ask him to stand and wave his hand and you put your hands together and welcome our director tonight bishop real robinson stand sir <laughs> hallelujah and sister robinson is here with him too oh my god continue to pray for them you know amen church continue to pray for them and the family because the work of the lord is is, is taking much but it's all right it is it is satisfying Yes, it is satisfying when you work for the Lord and God is doing things in your life. Am I right, ministers? Yes, it is satisfying. So keep on praying for Bishop Robinson. Amen. The Lord bless you. My brothers and sisters, we have a young man tonight to declare the word of the Lord to our hearts. Young man. And, and one of the things I'm happy for is that in this crusade, now what is being ex exposed to not only mature and uh, uh, men, but young men and young women declaring who Jesus is. Amen, church. Amen, church. And Bishop Somerville, he will be declaring the word of the Lord to our hearts tonight. He is the pastor of the Junction and Flagerman churches in St. Elizabeth. We want to thank God for him and his wife as they continue to do work for the Lord in St. Elizabeth. And so we will be asking God to speak through him tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. The young man who loves the Lord, a young man who means business for Jesus. Praise God. Before he comes, however, the Glendevon New Testament Church of God Choir will be ministering to our hearts. Hallelujah. And so we want to thank God for Glendevon tonight. And so while Glendevon is getting ready to come, um, Start, start gathering Glendavon. Let us come praise team as we get ready for the word. Let us, be, let us sing the Holy Ghost power. Moving just like a magnet. Anybody knows what I'm talking about? Moving here, moving there. And just as the day of Pentecost, the Holy Ghost power is moving just like a magnet. Oh, the Holy Ghost power is moving just like a magnet. The Holy Ghost power is moving just like a magnet. Hey, moving in, moving there, just as the day of Pentecost. The Holy Ghost power is moving just like. Oh, the Holy Ghost power. Hallelujah, the Holy Ghost power. Praise the 
the Lord. Moving here, moving there, just like the day of Pentecost, the Holy Ghost power. Hallelujah. Stand with, stand with me, please, everybody. Stand with me, church. Stand with me, stand with me, stand with me. Stand with me. Hallelujah. 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 We are more than conquerors tonight. Hallelujah. We're going to be pleading the blood of Jesus right now. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 I want a church ready for battle tonight. Amen. I want a church ready, ready for battle tonight. Hello, church. I want a church ready for battle tonight. I want a church militant tonight. I want a church militant tonight. Hallelujah. For in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Amen, church. In the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Hallelujah. You're going to plead the blood of Jesus seven times. Hallelujah. Lift your hands with me, everybody. Hallelujah. 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 After three, one, two, three. The blood of Jesus. Oh, praise God. The blood of Jesus. Somebody declare again. The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus. Shout another time, church. The blood of Jesus. Declare it again. The blood of Jesus. Somebody shout another time. Shout another time. Shout another time. Woo! Shout another time. Shout another time. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, church, shout hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Minister to us now at Glendevan. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Tell the troubled world that Jesus came from glory, came to save the lost from sin and shame. And upon the cross, he born the torn from glory for the fallen race.
Somebody just continue to praise the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. We are here to tell the troubled world that Jesus saved. Just go ahead, lift the hand and just continue to praise him tonight. Hallelujah. If you are here just to tear down the kingdom of darkness, go ahead and praise him tonight. Somebody just stand and worship with me tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody shout the highest praise tonight. Shout the highest praise again, somebody. Wherever you are, once you have voice, hallelujah. Once you have breath in your body, go ahead and praise God tonight. Hallelujah. Is there a worshiper in our wood tonight? Is there a worshiper in our wood tonight? Come on, tell this community that Jesus saved. Hallelujah. Tell this community that Jesus is the Lord. He is still king. He's the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Somebody praise him tonight. Somebody worship him tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody lift their voice under this tent tonight. Come on, let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise in this place. So our enemies can be scattered. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah again, somebody. Shout a praise in this house again, somebody. Hallelujah, clap your hands for Jesus everywhere. Praise the Lord, praise God. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord God Almighty. Indeed, it is another wonderful night under this 
gospel tent amen we are here we we could have been anywhere else but we are here tonight because we want somebody to understand that they are in trouble amen somebody praise be to god we are here just to warn this community and just to encourage somebody that jesus is the way he's always the answer praise be to god just clap your hand one more time for the, for jesus in this house praise the lord praise god indeed i i am privileged i i am blessed and honored to be here tonight to worship with you and to declare god's word let me take this opportunity just to recognize and greet amen bishop robinson who is behind everything and bishop williams put your hands together for them tonight somebody and sister robinson and all uh i realize it is an entourage of ministers here tonight i want to give them a resounding applause tonight bless you um bishop pinnock bishop nelson our moderator amen my my former pastor from the Grangel church bishop lewis amen all my friends who are here tonight i i am happy that you are all here praise be to god if i can't manage i know i i have some support amen somebody praise the lord praise god indeed god is good i just want also to recognize my wife who is here amen sister some of lizzie my beautiful wife would you just just wave your hand amen praise be to god and my daughter carissa yeah man if you look at my wife just go ahead and give her a nice yes praise god my mother-in-law is also here amen praise be to god and also the family the grand aunt amen pastor barrett amen sister barrett is my wife's grand aunt for those who didn't know yes they are here tonight amen put your hands together for them again praise god our online viewers amen all over this world tonight it's really good that you are here with us some persons are on their way from saint elizabeth they're almost here amen so i greet them while they are watching tonight to god be the glory without any further ado please just if you have your bibles with you please turn to the book of romans romans the epistle of romans verse chapter 3 verse 21 to 25 romans 3 praise god if you have your bibles just turn with me to Romans. While you are finding, just listen while I read. But now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law. Although the law and the, the prophets bear witness to it. The righteousness of God through faith is in Jesus Christ for all who believe. For there is no distinction. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of god and are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in christ jesus verse 25 and, and ending whom god put forth sorry put forward as a propitiation by his blood to be received by faith this was to show god's righteousness because in his divine forbearance he had passed over former sins here ends a portion of God's word we say thanks be to God father tonight we just thank you for your word and I pray God to, as I stand to declare your word to your people that you will just anoint me afresh Lord and I pray that tonight somebody's heart will be penetrated with the word hallelujah and I just take root and bring change and transformation in the name of jesus christ we pray somebody just say amen tonight praise just touch your neighbor and say neighbor we have a big problem but there is a remedy can you just talk to your other neighbor and say neighbor we have a big problem but there is a remedy uh, many people have the habit of killing roaches one at a time as they appear in their homes they will chase a roach corner it and use anything within their reach to hit it the problem is their success will be short-lived because they have only dealt with the roach that they are able to see behind that roach there is probably a whole family of roaches dealing with one roach doesn't truly address the problem somebody bless god tonight 
unless the roaches uh, hidden in the walls are dealt with the satisfaction of getting rid of one roach is only a temporary success in order in order to deal with the real problem the exterminator or the press control agent must be called in he will know what to do he will find the source and save your home from a press infestation which is the real problem sisters and brothers tonight i declare that we have a problem a very big problem this problem is universal this problem crosses every line and afflicts every person on planet earth this problem has no respect for gender or race ethnic uh, ethnicity or national origin this problem persists in spite of our best efforts and intention a poll was recently taken in america asking the people what do you think is the most devastating problem facing this country some say the top five answers they gave some said terrorism racism immigration bad government and bad economy I praise God tonight we when we evaluate closer to home you realize we can almost say the same thing the problem that we face in this country Jamaica praise be to God bad government bad economy and bad communities but sisters and brothers without a shadow of doubt these are problems these are challenges that we face as a people as a nation but that is only a symptom of the real problem that we are encountering somebody praise God tonight uh, the problem lies not in our methods or our system the problem is in the heart of the people the show one problem tonight I want to address uh, that plagues humanity is a simple but devastating three letter word called sin sin is the real problem we cannot fix the problem by only treating the symptom bad government is only a symptom of the problem bad communities are only a symptom of the real problem the problem that we face is a sin problem I'm no medical student I'm no doctor but I know when you go to doctor the doctor he will not treat only your symptoms but the doctor will try to find the source of your fever the source of your problem somebody praise God tonight may I pause to say to somebody a new crime plan will not fix our problem glory be to God will not treat oh God what we are going through new vehicles new policies oh God a new government oh praise be to God new oh God school uh, who cannot fix our real issue the problem we have uh, is a sin problem we are facing a crisis it is universal and we need to address the problem am i talking to somebody tonight just lift your hand and praise him in the house sin is the real problem that we are fighting every day and every night the apostle paul he was intentional in addressing the problem in the book of Romans he first addressed the Gentile world he said you have retained God in your knowledge at one time you knew God but you did not glorify him their thoughts had become foolish their lives had become futile and their future had become bleak because of their, their refusal to retain God in their knowledge God gave them over to the reprobate mind glory be to God God rejected them because they refuse to accept him they refuse to glorify him when you look in the second chapter of the book of Romans Paul he addressed the Jews after he addressed the Gentiles he said to them you come on can't beat the chest you don't believe you are more privileged you are a part of the problem too if you judge them you condemn your own self because you are guilty of the same problem somebody praise the lord in the house tonight
praise him again and Paul addressed the Jews and said you will be held in a greater accountability because you have the law you know what is right and you do what is wrong can I talk to somebody when you know what is right and you do the wrong you are held accountable this tent has been up from the past week and a half and the truth has been preached every night as this tent is pulled down and you continue in your wrong path you will be held accountable this entire nation Jamaica come on is not short of the gospel Jamaica everywhere you drive another church is there another church is in session so Jamaica will be held accountable somebody touch your neighbor and say neighbor if you know what is right you better do what is right because the judgment of the Lord will be upon you somebody praise him tonight hallelujah so Paul after addressing the Gentiles and the Jews he came to his conclusion that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God my brothers and sisters tonight God permit me to point out some realities from this passage of scripture Paul from this passage he pointed out the reality of our problem that all have sin salvation is the good news but the good news it come against the backdrop of bad news that we are sinners we need salvation we need God's mercy so Paul said all have sin sin in the text it means to miss the mark come on it gives the idea of a man with a bow and an arrow he draw back the bow to hit the target but he fell short of the target that's the idea Paul was given that God is the target God is the standard his standard is our standard am I talking to somebody here and when you fail to meet the standard of the almighty God you have fallen in sin somebody praise the Lord in the house hallelujah Paul in the text he outlined how we have missed the mark the whole being we our minds are controlled by sin our hearts our will in verse 13 and 17 he said our mouth is filthy our mouths are like an open sepulchre filled with death and deceit he said when you miss the mark your feet glory be to God is swift to commit murder your feet is swift to shed blood because sin it captivates the mind it pollutes the body it corrupts the body somebody praise him sin is deceitful sin appears to be something when it is not it appears to be good when it is bad it claims to satisfy but it leaves you hungry Hungry. Am I talking to somebody here? It pretends to be the answer, but it is the problem that we are going through. Sin is a real taskmaster. Sin is a slave driver. Somebody praise him in the house. It soils the soul. It scars the conscience. It separates us from God because sin is a real ungrateful taskmaster he works you but no pay somebody praise God under this tent tonight shout hallelujah 
Shout hallelujah. Paul said, the reality is rather all have sinned and come short of God's glory. Hear what John said. If we say we have no sin, we are a liar and the truth is not in us. Come and talk to me. The glory of God is the light of God that shines. It shows all his attributes. Come on, talk to me, church. We were created to exhibit and display the glory of the Almighty God. But we have turned. Come on, when you look at humanity, we should be able to see a glorified Father. We were created in his image and his likeness. His mark is upon us. Somebody praise the Lord. Come on, talk to me now. When David looked in the sky, hear what David said, the heavens declare the glory of the Lord and the firmament show it his handiwork come and talk to me when the world look on us the world should say there goes the glory of God the Father God the Son God the Holy Ghost somebody with your hand and praise him in the house Praise him again. Hallelujah. This is a real problem because sin demands a penalty. Come on, talk to me now. Sin demands death. A death, physical death, and the spiritual death. Come on, God has no pleasure in sin. Come on, tell the neighbor, neighbor, just in case you did not know what God said to Adam, the day you sin, you shall surely die come on to our scripture he uh, God of mercy he shows how much he hates sin he chased Noah he chased Adam and Eve from the garden in the days of Noah he called God of mercy when the sin of this world came up to his nostril he said Noah I'm gonna destroy this world world with a flood Sodom and Gomorrah was wrapped up tied up tangled up in sin and God said to Abraham if I can find five righteous man in Sodom I'm gonna save the city somebody praise him in the house he said to Ezekiel our soul belongs to God God, the soul of the father and the soul of the children come on but the soul that sin it shall surely die am I talking to somebody here lift your hand and praise him praise him again hear what he said in Revelation John I want you to write these things don't add off don't add on don't take off come on but the cowards but the unbelievers the corrupt the murderers the warmongers those who practice witchcraft idol worshippers and all liars shall be cast in the lake a fire that burn with sin with sulfur somebody praise God Paul said the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life am I talking to somebody here Hallelujah. Sin is a reality. Righteousness exalted a nation. But sin is a reproach to any man, to any woman. I don't care who you are, but the sinner will be punished. It's a reality of our problem. God, he stands for holiness. He stands
hands uh, for righteousness. Uh, he's a righteous God. Uh, somebody praise him again. Uh, come on, God. That's the reality of the problem we are facing as a nation. But Paul, he did not only stop with the reality of the problem. He gave us that there is a remedy for the problem. Someone talked to me. He said, but, somebody shout, but, but, we are justified. Come on, show Jesus, the redemption of Christ Jesus. We are sinners deserving to die but there is a but come on but God commended his love towards us that while we were sinners Christ died for the ungodly God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life somebody preach with me now there is a remedy Jesus Christ, the Son of God, He came to earth as a human being, as a human being. He walked this world, He lived right, He talked right, but He went to the cross not because He was guilty, not because He committed a crime, but He came that you and I can receive. Everlasting life, the enemy, the thief, he comes to kill, he comes to destroy. But I have come that you will have life and have it in abundance. Somebody praise the Lord here. Jesus Christ, he is our justifier. Come on, when we stand before God, even though we are guilty of the crime, we are declared not guilty because somebody had paid the price for you and I. Come on, John said again, I write unto you that you sin not, but if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. Somebody praise the Lord here. Praise the Lord again. God, praise the Lord again. This world needed a savior. And that's why Jesus said, I come not to be served, but I come to serve and give my life as a ransom for many. I hear one preacher said, if our greatest need was information, God would send an educator. If our greatest need had been technology, God would have sent us a scientist. If our greatest need was our money, God would have sent a financial expert. If our greatest need was pleasure, he would have sent us an entertainer. But our greatest need is forgiveness. So God sent us a savior to die on the cross. I wave your hand and praise him in the house. Praise him again. When Jesus was in the belly of his mother, the angel said, Joseph, don't worry yourself. That which she is carrying is of the Holy Ghost. She shall bring forth a son, and his name shall be called Jesus, because he will save his people. Am I talking to somebody here? Jesus uh, is not just a teacher. Jesus uh, is not just a prophet. He is not just a wise man, uh, but he's a savior. Jesus uh, is 
is our answer. Come and talk to me now. He's our answer yesterday. He's our answer today and forever. Because he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He remains the same. He's the Alpha. Come and talk to me in the church and the Omega, the beginning and the end the first and the last the prophet Isaiah he declared he was wounded for our transgression he was a bruise for all our iniquity the testament of our peace were upon him and by his stripes come and talk to somebody by his stripes I am delivered by his stripes. I am set free. Come on, Peter said, This Jesus is the stone that the builder has refused, has rejected. But this stone is the chief cornerstone, and salvation is by no other. There's no other name under heaven given among men whereby which we shall be saved somebody worship here worship the lord in a there's no other name Paul said Jesus was given a name above every other name at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow I'm not preaching the novel here every knee shall bow at the name I don't care who you are I don't care where you work I don't care your bank account I don't care your color Every day, shall bow at the name of Jesus. I wonder in an hour, and it's Jesus. I want boss in an hour, and it's Jesus. Every other boss, a basket, every other done, a donkey. But Jesus is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Somebody praise him. He's the Alpha. He's the way maker. The problem solver. The burning bearer. The sick healer. Somebody call him by his name. Call his name again. Somebody worship the Lord here. Hallelujah. Oh, God of mercy. I hear Charles Spurgeon said, Don't worry about those who need to be saved. We should just preach the gospel. Come on. And this gospel is what we come to preach in Norwood community. Am I talking to somebody here? We come to introduce this gospel message. This gospel is not only a historical narrative, but this gospel is about a person and a relationship with that person this gospel is about Jesus Christ who came to die and redeem you from your sins and your condition he came to fix the problem that we are facing am I talking to somebody here uh, today we have many gospel being preached nowadays come and talk to me but the one gospel, if the gospel is not Christocentric, it's a different gospel. Somebody praise him. We have the gospel of religion that said, don't follow Jesus, just follow the rules. Am I talking to somebody here? We have the gospel of materialism that says, name it and claim it. Am I preaching gospel here? Come on. But we come to tell you about a man come and talk to me somebody 2000 years ago he came in this world as a baby he
when they died but when the women they were on their way to the tomb they asked who shall roll the stone away but when they went at the tomb of Jesus it was already rolled away sometime you worry about the problem that you are going to face but God already he fixed the problem ahead of you all you need to do is to surrender your life the problem solver is gone before you come and talk to the church I hear somebody said many things about tomorrow I don't see him to understand come and talk to me to touch your neighbor the neighbor I know who holds tomorrow and I know he holds my hand I must have the Savior with me for I dare not to walk alone I must feel his presence near me and his arms around me shown then my soul shall fear for my preaching gospel here no ear for me lead me let him will I will go without a murmur this time I'm praise him in the house praise him again I want to tell you about this man this man he love you unconditionally this man he die for you come on his blood was shed for you come on and the blood it reaches to the highest mountain come on and you were there the blood can reach come on if them bury you the blood can reach the blood can set you free somebody praise God here come on the blood can set a man free can set a woman free because there's power in the blood wonder working power in the blood of Jesus come as a neighbor and a poor blood and a four blood and a chicken blood but the blood of Jesus what can wash away somebody praise God Praise him again. Hallelujah. This Jesus I'm introducing. He can revolutionize your life. He can take your nothingness and turn you into something. I remember Daniel just did this song. There's not a broken vessel. Come on, talk to me. Some of you are broken. Come on, your parents break you. Your husband break you, your wife break you, your children break you. Come on, talk to me. You feel that you are hopeless and there's no way out. Come on, but Jesus, He can pick you up, He can turn you around, He can plant your feet on a higher ground. He's a miracle working God. Paul said any man in Christ is a new creature all things are passed away come and talk to me somebody all things are passed away thank God I am born again because of the man named Jesus Hallelujah. So Paul, he outlined the reality of our problem. He outlined the remedy for the problem. But Paul, he climaxed this pericope with the remission for our problem. Paul said, uh, what God who had sent forth uh, to be our propitiation uh, to faith uh, in his blood uh, to declare his righteousness uh, for the remission of sin uh, that are passed uh, to the forbearance of God. The last thing the apostle pointed uh, is that remission uh, for our sin uh, is available. Somebody praise God tonight. Uh. 
But some maybe we wonder what is remission. To remit is to forgive. Remission is a is a related word which means forgiveness. A remission of sin. Then it's simple forgiveness of all our sin. It's a formal redemption as pronounced by a high priest in the time of Jesus. Remission is possible because Jesus is our propitiation. A propitiation it means to satisfy a holy law come on god because he's a just god he must punish sin come on talk to me somebody and the law have a demand hear what the law demands the law says without the shedding of blood i might preach some gospel in this place without the shedding of blood there is no remission of our sin so jesus had to die on the cross so God is the law could be satisfied the fact that Jesus rose on the third day is the receipt that God approved the remission am I preaching this am I talking to somebody here God approved God is pleased with the sacrifice that was offered salvation is free but it cost Jesus his entire life am I preaching to somebody here Lift the hand and shout hallelujah hallelujah it is free salvation but jesus had to pay the price uh, peter said we were redeemed not with silver am i talking to somebody money can buy my salvation am i talking to somebody silver and gold can buy my salvation come on we were redeemed not with silver not gold but by the precious blood of Jesus Christ in the Old Testament on the day of atonement the priest had to take two lambs to the temple am I preaching gospel here the priest would slaughter one of the lamb and sprinkle the blood upon the altar come on and upon the mercy seat to please come on the judgment of God the second lamb he will lay his hand upon the second lamb and he will release all the sins of the people upon the nation of the nation upon the lamb and he will bring that lamb in the wilderness and release him it was a sign that the lamb was taking away the sin of the people but that wasn't enough cause a neighbor neighbor no lamb can save me no lamb can redeem me but John when John saw him at his baptism John said behold the Lamb of God comes that takes away the sin of the world. Come and talk to me. This Lamb is a holy Lamb. This Lamb is a living Lamb. This Lamb, come on, He comes from above. This Lamb, no good can produce. This Lamb, come and talk to me. This Lamb is Jesus and His blood, and that's why. His blood has the power to deliver the sinner. I don't care how sinful you are. The blood can set you free. Am I preaching to somebody here? Come and tell your neighbor, neighbor, good behavior can keep you out of jail. Good behavior can keep you out of handcuffs. But good behavior can keep you out of hell. You need the blood. Come and talk to me. Even a wash by the blood. Are you washed by the blood? The soul cleansing blood of the lamb. Come and talk to me. One songwriter said, There's a fountain filled with blood. And I preach to me. Come on, John from Emmanuel's vein. But when sinners are blood beneath come and talk to me every sinner when they go underneath the blood they come up a different man a different woman their minds are renewed their minds are cleansed come and talk to me somebody because this blood 
it came from the holy god the god of heaven the god of earth somebody praise the lord this blood is no ordinary blood from any ordinary lamb but this blood is from the son of man and the son of god am i talking to somebody here come on when you want touch with this blood you are different that's why many times they see you you look different you sound different you walk different you dress different tell them i'm a foreign you go i'm a america you go i'm a canada you go am i talking to somebody but one wash from a jesus come on one wash in the blood i'm a new creature i'm a brand new man more things are pass away come and talk to me sometime when the blood wash you and people who know you when they see you they can't identify you and when they realize at the same robert at the same howard they say what is different you can tell them i am saved i am sanctified come and talk to me church I am Holy Ghost filled. I am water baptized. I have found a new life. A new life in the blood. Every morning I wash in the blood. Come and talk to me. And when I wash, Jesus said, Whom the Son set free. It's free indeed. The neighbor, you may know some things about me. You may hear some things about me. But I'm washed in the blood. Talk to me, somebody. All my sins are washed away. They are brought to the sea of forgetfulness. But some people, they like to remember your past. But tell them, yeah, the past is my past. I don't live there anymore. I don't work there anymore. I don't drink there anymore. Come and talk to me. I have found a new life. New life in Jesus. Somebody praise him. Somebody worship the Lord. A new life in Jesus. Just believe in the remedy. Just accept the reality. And you can be forgiven. A story was told about two brothers. They were playing in their backyard when a bee came out of nowhere and stung the older brother. The older brother, he is dropped to the ground. And he held his eye and was crying. But you and I know that a bee can only sting you once. Come on, the moment he used that sting, it is left in you. He's now powerless. He's now harmless. Am I talking to somebody here? But the bee started to fly again and went for the younger brother. The younger brother started to cry he's about to get me he's about to get me what the bigger brother said younger brother you don't need to worry I have already taken this thing it can't harm you again let me tell somebody that Jesus already he took this thing of sin upon the cross so you and I come and talk to me we don't need to be fearful of sin anymore. Come and tell the neighbor, sin no longer has no power over me. Sin no longer can devour me. Somebody praise God up in here. Somebody praise him. That's why Paul said, Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? Because Jesus, when he died, 
When he died, he defeated sin. He defeated death. He defeated the grave. So we, that's why Paul said, be no longer entangled in the yoke of bondage. Because Jesus, he took this thing. So you can be free. I am free. Praise the Lord. Come and talk to me. If you're free, shout hallelujah. If you're free, give God the praise. Come and talk to me. Oh God, roll back the curtains of memory. No one then after God show me where you brought me from and where I could have been because I am free when I come to church I can't help myself but to praise him I can't help myself but to worship come and talk to me because when I think of the goodness of Jesus you know, appreciate me when I think I was a sinner, I was lost, destined for hell. But amazing, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved. Come and talk to me. I was wretched, you were wretched, but amazing grace reached down and delivered me so I can worship. Come and talk to me, somebody. I can approach the throne of God. I can come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain more grace, more mercy. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Your sins are forgiven every morning. Come on, Jerry Maya said, Morning. Hallelujah. Morning. By morning. Somebody better stop to your feet. Come on. Every morning you wake up. New mercies. Come on, talk to me. Sunday morning. New mercy. Monday morning. New mercy. Uh, Tuesday. More mercy. Wednesday. More mercy. Because Jesus has set the pace. Am I talking to somebody here? I am delivered. Come on, praise the Lord. I'm delivered. I'm set free. My hands are free. My feet are free. My life is free. Because Jesus, I was robbed. Up. I was tied up. I was tangled up in the problem of sin. But the remedy, he found me. He picked me up. Come and talk to the church. He turned me around and he planted my feet. Come on, on the higher ground. He's a miracle. Am I talking to somebody here? He's a miracle. He's a miracle, working God, he's a wonder, come and talk to me, I don't care who messed up you are, you can be delivered, you can be set free, the blood is powerful, that's why Paul said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, it is the power of God. God and to salvation to the Jews, to the Gentiles, to the gunman, to the scammer, to the liar, to the fornicator, to the money grabber. Am I talking to somebody here? You can be delivered. You don't have to die in your sin, but you can be free. Wave your hand and praise him in the house. Praise him again, somebody. 
Hallelujah. I feel the church. I feel somebody can testify. Come on. If God should show some of us, uh, or some people, our past, they've not talked to me. I might talk into now with you. Come on. Some sins can't talk about. Uh, you know, hear me preacher, man. Some sin can't talk about. If you talk about them sin there, you have to run leave my mummy. You have to run leave my wood. If you talk about them sin, police come for you and lock you up. Come on. Because you're vile. But not care how vile you are. The blood can free you. The blood can set you free. Come on. All you need is to confess your sins unto him and he's faithful and just to forgive you come and talk to me he's faithful and just every time you go to God and beg forgiveness he's faithful and just to forgive you hallelujah Oh God Almighty, I feel somebody coming out. I feel somebody feeling relief. Come on, because the guilt of sin is upon many people's heart. Come on, talk to me. And that's why I know people backslide. Come on, because sin heavy. Come on, somebody says sin and a load, but they can't broke your neck. Come on, the shame alone. You know what? Come at church again. Am I talking to somebody here? When sin upon your head, you know what? Sing again. You know what? Teach Sunday school again. You know what? Preach again. Come on, it can break your neck. Come on, but I got somebody with me to share my heavy load. I can feel his presence near me every day. When trouble overtake me along life's weary road, come on, talk to me, somebody. Jesus said, Come on to me, all who have labored and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take upon you my, my yoke and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden. Is light. Come and talk to me. Cast a heavy burden upon Jesus. He cares for you. He loves you. Come and talk to the church. He's compassionate. He's your savior. Give him the Lord to bring for you. You can bring it. You can carry it. Come on, you will die if you try. But Jesus, come and talk to me. He bore the cross for many miles upon his back he can bore he can bear every sin you have in your life somebody praise him again somebody worship the Lord again Jesus is willing to help you in life we have a helper we have a deliverer we have a burden bearer somebody praise God again in the house Sometimes, when you have your troubles in life, you have some friend who you call night and day. Are you with me, somebody? But when trouble comes, and you call your friend, oh, praise be to God, they are nowhere. Hi God, to be found. Somebody praise God. Some will even tell you, Hi God Almighty, that they have their own problem. Am I preaching to somebody here? Some will tell you that they have their own challenges. Glory be to God. So at this present moment, they are unable to help you. But any time you call upon Jesus Christ, His willing as somebody said he's a friend who sticks closer than a brother come on let me tell you who Jesus is in Matthew he's the royal messiah in Mark he's the wonder worker in Luke he's the son of man in John he's the son of God the bread of life and the light of the world come on in Acts 
Christ is the risen Lord. In Romans, he's the justifier. In Corinthians, he's the sanctifier. In Galatians, he's the curse breaker. In Ephesians, he's God's riches. In Philippians, he's the need supplier. In Colossians, he's the fullness of the Godhead. In Thessalonians, he's our soon coming king. In Timothy, he's the mediator. In Titus, he's the faithful pastor. In Philemon, he's the friend who sticks closer than a brother. In Hebrews, he's the blood of the everlasting covenant. In James, he's our great physician. In Peter, he's the chief shepherd. In 1st John, 3rd John, he's our lover. In Jude, he is the Lord with 10,000 saints. In the book of Revelation, he's our Lord of Lords. He's our King of Kings. He's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the conqueror of death and hell, and the one who declares, I am the living one, I was dead, but behold, I am alive forevermore. I want somebody to drop their feet and just worship this God, worship our remedy, worship our helper. Come and call his name tonight. Call his name tonight. King and kingdoms will all pass away. But Jesus is here forever and forever. Jesus, come on. I want you to call that name in that mouth. If I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. Call that name. Call that name again. Call that name again. Let the devil hear that name. Let hell hear that name. Let the community hear that name. Call the name somebody. Jesus, our way maker, our redeemer, our remedy, our helper, our present helper in times of a present help in trouble time. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Jesus is beside you. He is with you. Never will I leave you. Nor will I forsake you. I will be with you always. That's why David say, yay. Now I walk through the valley of the shadows of death. Come and talk to me. I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod, Lord God help me, Lord God help me, and thy staff, they comfort me, thou preparest a table before me, in the presence of my enemies, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over, Surely, come on, shout surely, 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 goodness and mercy shall follow me. Come on, cover yourself, cover yourself. All the days of my life, because the Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is uh, the strength uh, of Come and talk to me with the wicked, uh, even my enemy. Uh, come upon me uh, to eat up uh, my flesh. Uh, they will stumble because uh, I am under the blood. Uh, I am under the blood. Uh, and he that dwelleth uh, in the 
the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadows of my fishermen of the almighty Jesus show Jesus Jesus show Jesus somebody worship God somebody worship Hell is mad. Come on, the weapon of our warfare. When I use gun, when I use M16, high five me. Come on, high five your neighbor, neighbor. Our weapon are not carnal, but they are mighty. True God in the pulling down. Come on, pull on some, pull on some, pull on something, pull on something, and I would. Pull it up, pull it up, mash it up, come on, mash it up. Somebody help me, the man. Somebody help me, the man. Mash up something, mash up the devil, mash up the sin. Come on, mash it up, mash it up, mash it up, mash it up. Come on, church, come on, come on, come on, church. Mash it up. Mash it up in an hour. Come on. And we don't come to play a joke. We don't come to run a joke. But the devil must know that Jesus is the Lord. He's the King of Kings. And the Lord of Lord. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Come on. Everybody from Negro Point to Moran Point from the North Coast and the South Coast people must know that God is God come on if God be God serve him in an hour if God is God come on serve him how long will you be hard between two opinions somebody praise God here somebody worship the Lord Hallelujah! The anointing is in this house. My God, my God. I don't have much time. But whatever it is, whatever sin, whatever grave of sin, you are buried in tonight you can be freed tonight I am the resurrection and the life he that believe in me though he were dead shall live and he that live it and believe it in me shall never die. Wave your hand and shout hello in this house right now. 
I want to invite every person tonight who is not saved. Come quickly. There's a special anointing in this in this place tonight. You don't want to miss this opportunity to surrender your life. Remember, the reality of our problem is sin. But there's a remedy for our problem. And remission is available for our problem. Come. Come, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Please come tonight. Please come. historical narrative but we are introducing to you tonight a person this person who died for you the person who was willing to stand in the gap for you when John said I write to you that you sin not but if any man sin you have an advocate in other words a lawyer with the father never have i heard in any court case that the lawyer is willing to take the sentence for his client but care how you not you pay you how much money you pay the lawyer once you lose the case and the judge said 20 years in a prison the lawyer gone home smiling because his money is sure but this lawyer when the judge declare we are guilty the lawyer said, Judge, I will take, I will take the charge. I will pay the price with my own life for them. Is there one more tonight? Come, yes, yes. Some are coming. My friends on the outside, please come. Don't, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Please come. Yes, yes. I see you coming. I see you coming. I see you coming.
tonight. Come. My military friends, if you're not saved, please come on to that. Yes. Please don't be shy. Everybody, this is for everybody. All have sinned. Come. Those, yes, yes, yes. So come. Come here, man. Come. I want to pray with you tonight. And trust him. Oh, God. Your soul, the souls are, are precious. Your souls are, are valuable to God. Jesus asked the question, what can a man give in exchange for his one soul? What type of it a man to gain the whole world? All the, the, the assets in this world. If they get everything in this world, this world has to offer. And you lose the one soul. It shall profit you nothing but Jesus. He's the answer that you need. He's the answer that you've been asking for. Oh, Baba Shakurobo. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Receive this breakthrough. Just leave the hand. Shakurobo. My God, receive this breakthrough. Yes. Break it tonight. We come on. So I said, break it. Break it, Jesus. 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 Yes, Lord. Break it right now. Yes. Sing that song one more time. So tonight, as I wrap up, the problem is real. The problem is seen. But we produce and introduce the remedy tonight. You can be forgiven. I don't care what others have to say about you. I don't care what your family members have told you. I don't care what your friends call you. But tonight I call you the blessed of God. You are blessed. Lift your hand and say, I am blessed. All of you tonight, all of you tonight are precious in His sight. Bow your heads. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you have seen their hearts tonight. Even before they arrive on the distant Lord, you were with them. You are the one who led them here. So many obstacles were before them. Uh, but Lord, you broke and you lifted the barriers tonight. Tonight, as they are standing at this altar, Lord. Oh God, testifying them walking is a confession that they need you. Them walking, God, is a confession that they need a savior in their lives. They may have tried many other sources and, and solutions, God, but everyone has proven to be short. 
but tonight God they they can receive you the true remedy in their lives Lord I pray for comprehensive protection I pray God another time Lord you will immerse them in your blood hallelujah wash their sins tonight Father heal them and save them from that which plague them in your mighty name I pray tonight Lord Jesus and somebody say amen just pray after me those are the altar Father I love you thank you for loving me thank you for sending your son Jesus to die for me Lord I don't deserve it uh, I'm not worthy of it Lord but I thank you I pray as of tonight Lord this will be a new beginning in my life Lord make it possible I believe God that you can do great things in me in Jesus name I thank you again Amen Clap your hands for victory tonight somebody let me ask a question. Don't don't move. Nobody don't 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 run away. Don't run away. Don't run away. Can't run so fast. Man. Is there one person tonight? I have to ask this question. I can't just pray for you and just leave it. I have to give you a chance to make a decision. Is there one person tonight who who say yes to Jesus? Just leave your hand and just say yes to Jesus tonight. Oh my, my, mighty God, mighty God. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Come on, church. Get the fire, church. Get the fire, church. Look at that, look at that. Hallelujah. 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 It is possible. Don't miss. We don't want to give him a chance. You're yeah, too nice to die and go to a devil's head. Let me just say this one thing before I hand the mic to the church. There's nothing worth going to hell for. Did you hear me? There's nothing worth going to hell for. Nothing. There's nothing worth going to hell for. Because in hell you can't use nothing. Come on, somebody. If it's money preventing from serving God, you can't use money. If a man or a woman, you can't you know, not use man or woman. Jesus has paved the way for you. So you don't have hell wasn't created for human beings. But hell was created for the devil and his angels. God bless you tonight. I hand over back to the bishop tonight. God bless you. Let the hand and praise God tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Before you move, I just have a few minutes here. I give God thanks for all of you tonight. You have raised your hand. I would to God you raise your heart. There is a spirit of indication, but tomorrow there is a no show. If the Lord has done anything for you, we are inviting you back to church tomorrow night. But I just want you to sit over there. The altar workers will be taking your names and your correct, yes, your correct telephone number. Your correct telephone number. Amen. Could you just sit over there for five minutes? All of you. All of you. All of you. All of you. Just sit over there. Let not one escape. All of them. Let them sit there. Amen. We believe in baptism, repentance. Baptism. We are here to help the security forces clean up Norwood. They will do their aspect of the work. We will do ours. It's a spiritual cleanup. Somebody praise the Lord. 
Come on, no young man in the white, don't go. We want your name. We want your name and your number to call you and to pray for you. Please, for God's sake, heed the warning. Heed the warning. Heed the warning. Just stay with me, church. Our security, um, some honorable men in uniform, they walk across and ask me to pray for them. Could I ask our military men to come as we pray for them hallelujah God still touch young men in uniform hallelujah 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 can I have some church mothers, about five church mothers to come and lay your hand there. They are mama's boys, you know, you know that. They are mama's boy. We are the church mother. Come on. They are mama's boy. Come on. Yes, yes. See what the Lord has done. See what What are you praying for? See what the Lord. Don't be afraid. Come on, mothers, just raise your hand on them. Like I said, they are mama's boys. Come on. Take it down. Take it down. Take it down. Could you stretch your hands to them? They are at the front of the battle amen hallelujah let's go to god in prayer eternal father and our god we call on you you said we must call and you will answer we must seek and we will find we must knock and it shall be open unto us. The church is knocking on heaven's door on behalf of our military men. God, we give you thanks for them. They have sworn their life away to the protection of the country. Oh God, they have placed themselves by the oath they have taken oh god to stand in the gap for the security of the people the protection of the people oh god but the facts still remain they are flesh and blood they are exposed to danger oh god almighty their opponents are rough heartless our oh God mischievous but Lord God we ask you for your divine protection we ask you for blood coverage not animals blood but the blood of Jesus from the crown of the head to the sole of the feet in camp and patrol in the lorry going home to their parents and their loved ones we ask for coverage in the name of jesus lord yea though they walk so many times through the valley of the shadow of death help them lord god to fear no evil not because they're empowered with their rifle and military tactics and training but lord god because you are with them in the name of jesus in the name of jesus come on church out in the name of jesus i protect them from stray bullet i protect them oh god from bullets of the enemy ah oh god we 
preserve and prolong their lives. Protect them, not just these five, but Lord, the entire camp. Our God, the combination of the army and the police. Lord, come on, stretch your hand over there. Stretch your hand over the camp. We cover Sergeant Major. Oh God, we cover Private Corporal, Lance Corporal. We cover the vehicles. We cover the superintendent. We cover God, the deputy soup. Oh God, Inspector. Oh God, Sergeant Corporal. Oh God, somebody show coverage. Coverage. In the name of Jesus, Lord, what they eat, what they drink, what they wear, we ask for coverage. Cover mommy's boys. Cover mommy's boys. Cover mommy's boys. Father, there is an enemy that the natural eye cannot see. Oh Lord, spiritual enemy, powers of darkness, arrow that fly at that noon day, pestilent that walk at that night time, in the name of Jesus. Come on somebody, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and Father, you save and convert soldiers, if any of these not save, Will you speak to their hearts that they will surrender as Lord and Savior? Thank you for hearing. Thank you for answering. Somebody give the Lord a hand up of praise for them. As they take back the blessing over to the temple. Thank you for coming. Come again as long as you have the time. We are here for you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Honorable men, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much. You may return to your location. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Somebody praise the Lord. Listen, listen, it's going home time. But I ask all those who have given your life to the Lord since we have started. You took your baptism. Come and stand. Up to last night, you gave your life to the Lord. I just want to pray for you. I'm not going to ask your word. I'm not going to ask your word. Even if you're never baptized, but you indicate that you give your life to the Lord. I want you to, up to last night, up to last night, uh, put your hands together for this gentleman. Come on. There were some other senior men. Where are they? Come on, a man. Come on, somebody. We are we want to pray for you. 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 Yes. Don't be afraid. There are some shine ladies in the crowd. Come on, you don't have to worry. Come on, man. You have given your life to the Lord. Amen. Come on, come on. I want to pray for you. We want to pray for you. Amen. Come on. We want to pray for you. You gave your life to the Lord up to last night. We want to pray for you. We want to pray for you. Yes. Come on, man. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. I am counting more than the amount we baptize. Amen. Friday night is baptism. The Lord add to the church daily. Those of you who have given your life to the Lord tonight and you are determined to follow him as Lord and Savior, could you stand behind them? You give your life to the Lord tonight. You mean it. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, um, are you not chinaling us? Come on. Come on, come on, just stand. Come on, church. We are the clapping hands. We are the clapping hands. We are the clapping. You give the life to the Lord. Tomorrow night, you are going to come back as a Christian. Amen. 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 And, 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 and I want you to come back with a one word testimony. Amen. Tomorrow night. Just Jesus. Just Jesus. If you want to add to that, you can do that. But just Jesus. Oh, somebody praise the Lord. See what the Lord has done. Come on, I like your singing. Come on, sing. Come on, come on. See what the Lord. 
Come on, church. Come on, stand with me one more time. Come on. What you praying for? Can you see what the Lord has done? Glory to God. Stand with me, church. Stand with your hand back, your belonging. Online, 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 join us. See what the Lord has done. Can you get the olive oil, Pastor? See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. Let's bow your heads with me now. Bow your heads with me. Could you stretch your hands to them, church? That's why we are here. Hallelujah. I can sleep well tonight. Amen. There's a sign of abundance of rain. Oh, we are the praying church. We are the warring mothers and fathers. Everybody open your mouth and pray for them. And that's what we are here for. Come on, man. Everybody open your mouth for a minute and pray for them. Help, pastor. Help, help, pastor. Father God. We glorify you. We thank you for tonight. We thank you for your servant who has ministered from his heart. Continue to anoint him, touch his wife and child. We thank you, Lord, for these who have given their life to you. And God are determined to continue. Lord God, there are laughters and criticizers that are waiting to discourage them oh god there are battles they have to fight oh god but we place them in your hands don't let our effort be in vain you said you come not to call the righteous but sinners to repentance strengthen their faith in you lord seal them with your blood place a seed of righteousness in their heart give them the drive and determination to follow up the decoration to follow up their decision and to join with the saints to worship you father if there's anything in their life that seems unmovable any mountain that they can't tunnel through you are the specialist you are the specialist holy ghost we welcome you tonight do for them what no other power can do give them a testimony oh god give them a testimony visit them in their room visit them in their sleep seal and sign in the name of Jesus Lord I pray for 4,600 live worshipers come on church point to the monitors we ask you for blessing we ask you for guidance we ask you for miracle we ask you for breakthrough continue to bless them and for the house I cover I cover every man going home walking driving riding on the train line in the alley oh god on the street the darkened street that are unlit i pray for coverage no harm shall befall your people in the name of jesus in the name of jesus somebody shout glory shout glory anoint them anoint them anoint them hallelujah 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 yes thank you pastor father will you just touch every taxi driver every crevice and corner of norwood glen devon salt spring norbrook paradise norbrook meads all over town oh god gulf you know god in that your spirit alive thus far I pray that they will go through the, the year without a strong of here be 
are disturbed on the head in the name of Jesus the late hour taxi driver the early hours I cover them preserve them preserve their family keep them in the hollow palm of your hand remember the fake hands touch them remember simple the soup man remember the ladies across the road that pedal their their goods God even our own oh God talk shop corner touch in the name of Jesus touch the musician touch the technical team touch the security preserve the purity of this tent I continue to save soul remember Reverend Pinnock possible driving back to Kingston if not whatever the status is of his night traveling take charge the moderator the churches that turn up the ministers lord god lord god even in your own church even in your own church a revival 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 remember the prime minister honorable andrew Holness. remember his deputy oh god dr chang remember the governor general remember 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 the opposition leader mr mark golden and his crew oh god the opposition i pray for every politician remember councillor cummings of this community take charge take charge holy ghost continue to bless continue to do good in jesus name in jesus name somebody praise god we're going home now but listen thank you jesus i'm looking back for you tomorrow night come come on don't be afraid don't 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 outsmart us we have a book tall like this with many names who have decided for the lord and they have not shown up after they have walked away from the altar prove to us you are not among the smart group amen but if you outsmart god and the church your action will catch up on you in the name of jesus we are inviting you back to church tomorrow night we begin at six o'clock amen we are having fasting at our headquarters at three water lane you're free to join us tomorrow come we will dismiss at about 1 30 thereabout that we can come back for service on saturday will be community day right here we are going to divide this tent doctors children doctors uh, amen and other doctors will be here to look at you amen to treat you amen without a cent uh, I, uh, there is a high possibility you will walk home with um, a, a, a gift package or something we have already hired the the um the bunks about for the children to enjoy themselves come amen on sunday on sunday every person in norwood that is not dedicated every child every grown man every grown woman you have not been dedicated come we will dedicate you give you a certificate that you are now dedicated we have to break the curse in the name of jesus amen amen step over boundaries and come let us dedicate you in the name of the father the son and the holy ghost tell it around we are going to have great time in god god bless you god go with you shake hands with at least seven persons as you rush home if you can give somebody a lift god bless you if you do that thank you very much online worshipers four thousand six hundred times three or times four our god is doing a great thing to god be the glory god bless you shake their hands shake their hands let them feel welcome come on ministers help shake their hands let them feel encouraged come back tomorrow as christians in jesus name god bless you